let us solve an interesting question on min and max functions on utility the question is a consumer's utility function is given by utility is a function which is equal to max of x1 comma x2 plus min of x1 comma x2 where x1 and x2 are the two goods suppose the price of good one is four dollar and price of good two is eight dollar the consumer's income is forty dollars the consumer will attain equilibrium at we are being given the different combinations of x1 and x2 and we need to find out uh, where will the consumer attain equilibrium okay so let's uh, first uh, see what we are being given we are being given this utility function and let me write it here utility of sorry a uh, utility is equal to max of good x1 comma x2 plus min minimum of x1 comma x2 okay this is our hybrid utility function okay so let us see here when x1 is less than x2 okay in this equation when x1 is less than x2 okay if x1 is less than x2 in this equation then what will be the utility function let us see utility will be equal to so when x1 is less than x2 so maximum between x1 and x2 will be x2 because x2 is greater we are taking maximum here maximum of the two goods between the parentheses okay x1 is less x1 is greater we take maximum so maximum between these two is x2 so our utility function will become x2 plus then we have minimum so minimum of x1 and x2 when x1 is less than x2 so minimum will be x1 okay so our uh, you know given hybrid utility function will become this u is equal to x1 plus x2 symmetrically if we want to do it otherwise that is uh, when x1 is greater than x2 you can again see u will be equal to when x1 is greater than x2 in this equation so what will be the utility so max of x1 and x2 x2 is greater this time sorry x1 is greater than so in the first uh, uh, you know term we will have x1 plus min of x1 comma x2 since x1 is uh, x2 is less so lesser of these two is x2 here again our utility function will be x1 plus x2 okay so basically we have to solve this kind of utility function now let us see what we are being given so let's write those very stuff also here so we are being told that price of good one is given us as four dollar price of good two is being given us as eight dollar and income of the consumer is being given us as forty dollar okay our endeavor is to to find out the equilibrium what we want to do we want to maximize the utility function of the consumer which is that is maximize utility which is equal to x1 plus x2 okay when we solve this we got this utility function subject to the budget constraint so our budget constraint is uh, p1 x1 then price of good one time is units of good x1 plus price of good two times units of good x2 should get exhausted okay so income should get exhausted here so which you know sums up to so p1 is 4 so i can write it as 4x1 plus 8x2 should be equal to 40 okay now let us first to draw the graph to make it more you know useful and simpler let us say we have x1 on this side and x2 on this side so given this budget set we want to maximize the utility if i write this budget set if i draw it on the graph okay and let us see we are being given 4x1 plus 8x2 is equal to 40 okay if i want to draw it on the graph what will happen if i write x1 is equal to 0 if x1 is equal to 0 which implies 8x2 will be equal to 40 which implies x2 will be equal to 40 divided by 8 which comes out to be 5 okay 
so we will have let us say this is uh, 5 here similarly when x2 is equal to 0 in this equation so this term is 0 that implies 4 x1 is equal to 40 which gives us x1 will be equal to 40 upon 4 which comes out to be 10 let us say 10 is here okay this is our budget line and let me draw it here and let let's rub this so here we have 10 so given this budget line we know consumer wants to reach to the highest possible indifference curve and our indifference curve is here linear x1 plus x2 clear now where will the consumer get equilibrium for this we have to compare the slope of this budget line and slope of the indifference curve okay so slope of indifference curve we know there or let's write the tangency condition what we know there first order condition for maximum require is there marginal rate of substitution between good x1 and x2 should be equal to the ratio of the prices okay p1 upon p2 okay what is mrs simply marginal utility of good one upon marginal utility of good two it should be equal to p1 upon p2 mu1 means the partial derivative of utility function with respect to good x1 divided by mu2 means partial derivative of utility function with respect to good x2 okay should be equal to p1 upon p2 now if i take the partial derivative of utility function this is our utility function with respect to x1 so derivative of x1 is 1 so we are left with 1 and let me write it here okay if i solve du upon dx1 so derivative of x1 is 1 so we are left with 1 only why because we are taking partials here uh, derivative of x2 will be 0 so we got 1 divided by du upon dx2 again derivative of x2 is 1 so we are left with 1 upon 1 should be equal to p1 upon p2 p1 we know it is equal to 4 upon 8 here you can see we have 1 and on this side we have 1 upon 2 clearly this condition is not being satisfied okay uh, mrs is not equal to the ratio of the prices what actually has happened here you can see uh, and let's write left hand side shows us the mrs that is slope of budget uh, sorry slope of indifference curve okay so slope of ic and this side shows the slope of budget line slope of budget line okay here you can see when the slope of indifference curve is greater than the slope of budget line graphically what will happen so if i draw the indifference curve here let us say this is first indifference curve okay we have one slope then we will have second indifference curve we want to reach the highest possible indifference curve uh, given the budget okay this is our budget line again we are uh, you know we are not utilizing the whole money here we can uh, reach to the next ic let us say this is next ic since ic and these are intersecting it here again we are not you know optimally consuming so if i shift again it our indifference curve let us say this at this point here you can see it intersects the budget line at this point okay and all our uh, you know income will get exhausted and consumer will get optimal satisfaction at this point you can see uh, this is first you uh, let us say this is ic1 this is ic2 okay but this is our budget line when ic3 is this again some money is left that means consumer is not getting the optimal utility so when we shift this ic curve and we can see this ic you know intersects the budget line at this corner okay when this happens when slope of indifference curve is greater than slope of budget line at this point what will happen consumer will consume all units of good x1 okay so consumer will consume all units of good x1 and zero units of good x2 
okay and here you can see so consumer will uh, consume where will i write now let me see if i have some space left so we have x2 will be equal to zero okay if i put it into the budget constraint x2 is equal to zero that means 4 x1 is equal to 40 that means x1 will be equal to 10 that means consumer will consume 10 units of good x1 and 0 units of good x2 so we will have this 10 and 0 this will be our optimal uh, you know bundle here so the correct option should be b i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you